Hello everyone, and you're watching Cooking with the Word. Today we are in a deep hollow on Muncie Mountain, and we found a washed out place that goes as much as 10 feet deep under the bank. And uh, we found a place here that is washed out, a fire pit. And this is exciting because it's hard to tell what we might find here, but look at these rocks. See how dark they are? That's from fire. It's from heat, exposure, and ash. It's all washed out there. And Oh, look at this right here. What do you call this? Okay, this is one of the things that we found in there. Several other artifacts where we haven't got to dig very deeply. But today we're going to do an episode on the different artifacts that we found on the mountain. A uh, special episode today. So join in. This is the first one. And we're going to go over some of today's finds uh, up in the washout in the deep hollow of Muncie Mountain. This, as you can tell, this is an ax. And you can tell that by the color, it's been a fire. And it's come from uh, un deep under the ground there in, in that little creek. But you see by the color, uh, it's not a normal color of a rock in that area. But you can see the end, where it's been sharpened and used. See, it's got a perfect one-sided edge and they use it to uh, to cut with. Whatever they want to do, cut roots, but you can tell by the edge it's there. That is not natural. It has definitely been worked. This all come from that one spot there where the creek washed everything out. And this one, I haven't cleaned it up yet. This is a fire starter or nutting stone Come from the same place, you can tell by the color it's rounded on this side. See the color where it's been in a the fire. They probably got they may have got tired of using it or whatever and just threw it into the, the, the fire where they done everything or maybe used it at the fire. You can see the little hole there where they put the uh, the nuts, cracked them, or they put the nut there and take your blade and crack it, however you want to do it, and uh they, they've done that or they could take a uh, wooden stick kind of like this one put it in the hole uh, put the bowstring on it or some kind of string and rub that backwards and forwards with friction and the friction would with a, a lot of little uh, moss dead moss uh, uh, sawdust something like that around in it and, and start a fire And this one, I'm not really sure what all this could have been used for. This is pretty amazing piece here. Uh, I'm almost thinking this is some kind of a, maybe uh, some other type of a fossilized artifact of some kind. See, it is absolutely, I mean, it's just perfect all the way over. It's got the perfect being on this side and flat on this side. This could have been used in a lot of different ways. It could be used to dig with, uh, to chop. So many different things it could have been used for. But this is one of the best artifacts that, that I have personally ever found. I really like this one. And these were all within just a few feet of each other. I mean, they were really close. And right there in that washout. This one doesn't appear to be burned too bad. Uh, a lot of it's just the stains on it. But that's a pretty amazing piece right there. See, it's been worked, you know, just perfect on everything. And this end. And so many different things. Now, it could also have had a, a stick mounted to it some way and, and been used as a weapon, but it's a pretty heavy weapon. Now, if you get hit with this, you're a done deal. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a really bad outcome. But look at that perfect edge right there. And then on this side, it's got another edge. It's just perfect all the way around. So somebody spent a lot of time working on this right here. I'm not sure if this is made out of sandstone. It really looks like sandstone. Of course, Muncie Mountain's right on the edge between uh, the coal fields. It's on the fault line between the coal fields and uh, more of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Uh, 
the highlands um, where uh, everything is limestone. So it's kind of on the verge of that, but this could have been carried in from somewhere else. You just don't ever know. And this is the one that we found in the grass. The lawnmower had kicked up. Get you get a good look at that. This is a really old rustic piece. Now keep in mind, uh, the natives, uh, Americans, um, indigenous people, were just like anybody else. Not you know, they're all wasn't perfect. Everybody was not going to make a, a absolute perfect arrowhead. You know, this it is an art. Uh, this could have been used as a, most like it could have been an hour hour head, or it could have been a uh, a dart. Or could have just been a knife to cut with. They could just mount the blade on the end. As you can tell how that's been worked there all the way around. Just mount a little stick on it and just cut with it as a knife, a skin of a squirrel or rabbit or something. And, and uh, I've got some that are look like they were made with a laser. They're just absolutely perfect, but they're not all that way. This one is really rustic and uh, it's not perfect. But it's okay. It's a wonderful find. I'm proud to have it. This is the field that we see the bears and everything in. And I found just absolutely a box full of artifacts here. And uh, it just rained, so we're looking around to see what we find. Hopefully something is uncovered itself here somewhere. That's my artifact dog. Oh goodness, look at this. Trying to get focused in on it. What could that be? Wow, look at that. That is a artifact. Kind of right on top of the ground. See what's worked on the sides. Worked on that side. Okay, I'm proud of this one. Okay, that's one. We're gonna look around and see if we find any more. Now, so we're going to go down the line of some of the different things we found within just a few hundred feet, some a little closer to the fire pit and the uh, overhang. This one is just a, it's, you can see how it's curved on the end there. It's, it was used like it was a scraper. Get inside of something and just, you can use the scrape or as a knife. And it's, it's been broken. It's a heartbreaker. It's been broken on the end there. If not, it would have been in really good shape. You can see the edges where it's been worked. Right there. And this, like I said, now they're all not the same. And these could be thousands of years apart in time period and when they was made. This one is just, you can see it's, it's crooked on the end there. Um, you, you can tell. Let me get a little closer there. You can tell it's it's not perfect and they're not all, all not going to be it looks like a little nick on the end there it's hard to say how old this is this could be really really old uh, we don't know for sure uh, but just look at this one here this one's shaped perfectly it's sharp on this end to cut with I mean you just cut something right there scrape it and on this end but now what is this made out of Look deep inside. Look at them little fossil-looking things. I don't know if it's petrified wood. It's some kind of ivory, maybe. But you can see the little little indentations in there, like bone. So I'm not sure what this is made out. Maybe somebody knows. They could tell me what this is. That's pretty neat. Then we got some that's that's a little more nicer. This is a small arrowhead. Now, the, uh, people get these big ones. They call them arrowheads. But now the bows then didn't have enough strength to, I mean, they're not like today's compound bows. 
they didn't have enough strength to to shoot out a large arrow this one is a uh, it's pretty neat so the lighter the better but still has cutting power it's thin and uh, has enough to go into the end of an arrow and even just enough to take down a uh, a deer turkey groundhog anything like that and uh, because the most the, the effect is going to be from the from the arrow shaft itself so got this one now this one's a little larger but could still have been used for an, for a, an arrow shaft it's just a little larger there It's worked perfectly. Get in my hand here. This side. I don't think, even though it's uneven, I don't think it's been broken. I think it's the way it was made. Like I say, you know, there wasn't a school that they went to to where there wasn't a factory to where every single artifact was made exactly right or like. Um, Sometimes they might have developed their own skills, but this one actually has a little flute in it. It could be thousands of years old. It could be hundreds of years old. And I, like I say, all these were found here on Muncie Mountain. Um, this is another heartbreaker. This would have been pretty. It's got a pretty gray color. Nice uh, chert or flint. It's a light gray, bluish light color. Uh, I don't know if it's Kanawha or somewhere in Ohio, or maybe even lo more local. But it's got the tip broke off. If it wasn't for that, man, this would be so pretty. And this is only part of the ones that we found. We found uh, just dozens and dozens. The biggest heartbreaker I got, I'm going to show it to you. Well, no, the second biggest heartbreaker I got is this one. Look how pretty that is. But it's broke. This would be so nice. It would be, it would be, it would be beautiful if it wasn't just broke on the end right there. Look how sharp that is. It's perforated on the edges. Uh, worked perfectly. But it was broken and then just discarded. Uh, a lot of times they'll take these and they'll reuse them. They'll just uh, redo the end and make, just make a smaller point out of it. Here's another one that is just a pretty, pretty rock. Good color. Right there, it's a, also that light gray, light color could have come from the same area. That one's just, maybe broke a little bit right there, but other than that, it's, it's perfect all the way around. Could have been used for many things. Could be used for a scraper or an arrow. And not everyone's going to be exactly the same. Not everyone's going to be perfect. Now, here's one that is extremely rustic. I don't know if the more rustic ones, the, the rougher ones, were people who uh, was just in a hurry or a lot older. I mean, you could go back, you know, thousands of years. But look at this one. Now, this one is what you call extremely rustic. It's just it's sharpened all the way around. Perfect shape. We made them, like I said, we found them all right in that one spot uh, below the one below the cave, and then the opposite end where the uh, fire pit washed out. Look at this. This would have been pretty. This is a red, some kind of a red rock of some type, but it's another heartbreaker. It's broke right on the end there and on this side. You see, it's worked perfectly. You got the perforations on each side of it there that's been chipped out. Same with this one, it's broke on the end. This is just an old, rough looking, it's almost like slate, but it's slate's, you know, it's too hard to be slate. It's almost like a piece of slate. You see the base on it. Another uh, scraper type. It's a little thick. 
to be an arrowhead, so it's probably more like a, a knife or a scraper that could have used either end of it. Look at this one. What if I found this one intact? It's got something black inside the the, the crystal rock there. The core, I don't know if it's quartz or what it is. But if this one hadn't broke, that would be the find of all finds right there. That is so, it's a little milky. But you can see through that. See my finger? Here's one. Now this is probably an arrowhead or something a little smaller, maybe for birds or fish or something, but look at this one. This one is not broke. This one's perfect. It's intact. It's made out of that same type crystal. Quartz or whatever you call it. Imagine somebody sitting down and actually making this. Uh, maybe by a campfire or something. And napping this out to where to make it look like it looks. Look at that. Is that not pretty? See, not all, our, all arrowheads are huge. Because I can put this on the end of a bow and, and, and my arrow is going to go faster and straighter than a big heavy one is. And we got more. Okay, this one's only sharpened on one side. This side's a little rough. But look how they perforated that one edge, kind of like a fish. Looks like kind of, kind of like a fish, don't it? Look at that. Like the scales, like a bluegill. You got the tail there. It's a little, either a knife or an arrowhead. This one is thick. And I think it's maybe a prefab. I think maybe they was working on this one and, and, and gave up. You know, cast it away or to the side or something. and It's broke on that side. It broke back here. But you can see where they worked it all the way around. On, on every side. So that one's pretty rough. We got another light gray. So the series we're doing, uh, trying to find the different artifacts, you can see this for real. All these came from here on the mountain within just a few hundred feet, some closer than the places that we're concentrating on right now. There's another heartbreaker, which broke right on the end, but I think they reworked it. And this is a kind of an odd like material that they made these out of. This is this is kind of like a uh, more like a sort of like a slate, but not a slate. It's just just a rough like. It's almost like it's been burnt flint. Here's another heartbreaker. Sharpen our way to the end, but then the base is broke. And I've got all type of just bases. So the bases didn't get away. And we got dozens and dozens of them here in my collection that I'm going through. Look at this one. Something totally, see, all that I've shown you, this one is totally different. It's a different type of material. And it looks like it's dirty, but it's not. It's just the way, it's the color of the material. I don't know what you would call that. Maybe somebody does, they can tell me. This one's a little heavier. Look at that. And here's a pretty one. This one's a darker material. The one I've been teasing you with the whole time. This came from, if you remember the video I've done where the um, Annabelle was helping me dig and I had the uh, old uh, milk carton and I was shifting. This come from there. And this thing is red. Uh, and it is perfect. 
I don't see a broke spot on it, but it's just made that way, and I don't know why. So there's no no broke edges, nothing, but it's made like this. Oh, maybe right there, it's maybe broke on the corner right there. But is that not pretty? Just look at that right there. That is a nice one. But my number one heartbreaker of all, I found this one. And this is more of it. Listen to this. This is not glass. This is crystal. You see how it's broke inside. You see how it's perforated. It worked all the way down to the edge. You can see a little bit of right here. It's worked all the way down. I bought. I found this one. I was proud of. I was showing it to everyone. Pulled it out of my pocket, dropped it, and broke it. My fault. One hundred percent my fault. But look at that. I mean, you can see through it. See my finger back there. This is not glass. It's not glass. This is a perfect arrowhead. I found this in the path between my house and my chicken house. Uh, as we walked in the path, we, we knocked it out for our feet. It's, it was on the side of a hill. It's completely away from everything. Somebody either, either dropped it and broke it or actually shot it at something. And uh, it's left laying there. Maybe it was the inside of an animal or something. But look at that. This was, this was the bomb. This was the nicest one ever. Uh, I want to show you a tool that I found. Did I show you this one? This one's bigger here. Now I got dozens of them laying here. This was found the place where we did, did the video on top of the mountain, uh, the lower ridge. I caught it because uh, it's not all the way on top. We did the video with the uh, the milk carton, the one I just told you about, where I found this one. I was there. This was sticking out of the ground like this right here. And I was there with my nephew John and, and, and we was walking around. This was sticking up out of the ground. I said, wow, that's a weird looking rock. It don't belong here. This rock is not like any other rocks on that mountain. This is way away from any kind of creek or anything. And this is something that come out of a river probably. And I kicked it and it come up to this. Look at that. Worked here, 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 all the way across here, and what do you look for? A place to put your hand and thumb. Look right here, and your thumb hold right there. And it also could have been used maybe as a nutting stone. You put this up here, it fits your hand perfectly here. You back off just a little bit. Put your hand here, put your thumb here. This is my pride and joy right now. This one would have been, but this is my favorite piece right here. And look, it's perfect. And there's little uh, places on it look like where they could have been um, rawhide straps put. But uh, if you had any idea what this is, let me know. I think it's just made just to, to hit with. You know, I don't want to be hit with this, but maybe it was made to grind up some corn or some different type of roots, um, tenderized meat. Uh, uh, go to this side, maybe some uh, some pelts, or maybe if somebody was messing with you and you didn't want them to, you could do it that way. But this right here, this one is that is one beautiful piece there. By far, right now, my favorite. You can see how smooth it is all the way around. This is not a rock that you. Now this is worked. See here. This whole edge has been knocked off. That little hole there. This, this, this. And then this whole side. Look here, and you can see the deep crystals in there. I don't know what kind of material that is, but it is pretty. It's come out of a river somewhere. There's all the different colors and stuff in it. But this is just some of the stuff that we found here on the mountain. Uh, if you have any ideas on anything, then especially this. Look at this. Now I have found uh, I found them with fossils in them, uh, all sorts of different things. 
and you're looking at, at what could be a, a large time period you know generation after generation that's that's lived on this mountain but uh, this, all these sorts of things that we find so stay tuned every week like us follow us stay tuned every week here we're cooking with the word and adventures on Muncie Mountain and uh, we'll try to find more stuff for you we're going to get back to the fire pit um, here real soon I got some uh, people who has amazing artifacts on their property also that's going to join in with us help us uh, from the day farm help us dig there in here uh, they, they find stuff almost every day at their place and we're going to try to put all this together and listen it's going to be fun adventures on Muncie Mountain cooking with the word uh, keep Jesus first whatever you do keep him in your life like us on Follow us on YouTube, all the different things. We're going to find these more and more and more. And find them. We're going to mark them. We're going to talk about them. We're going to try to, to uh, uh, find out information on them uh, here on Muncie Mountain, Tazel County, Virginia, right on the West Virginia, Virginia border, right on the the uh, default line between uh, where coal is and coal runs out. And wow, say a prayer for me on this one. This one right here just broke my heart. This was so pretty. But until next week, Cooking with the Word, I'm Mike Muncie. We'll see you soon.